Caroline Wachler. Ta me fear wech, agus is onor intachom, eventual achter dus, agus buog am torcha, mar is bua kinunachai ervalach ever agam, agus buala moichas of laka, lo hop shu that fad a chrishtach ma anam nuchan, agus kon yure a hog votachom, agus of ronan gradam sha aram. It's, it's a great privilege to be here tonight, first of all, among so many women who have done far more than I ever could have done and have achieved amazing things in their lives and who haven't been any of the award winners tonight. I'm privileged to be among the award winners and I have to say that I think it's grossly unfair that any one of us should have been asked to speak after Maureen O'Hara. <laughs> you know, Maureen, I trained as a teacher in Carysfort very many years ago. And when I taught, I taught in Skolvrida in Ranala, and I lived on Beechwood Avenue. And of course, when we lived in Beechwood Avenue in a bedsit, we never knew that somebody as famous as Maureen O'Hara had lived on Beechwood Avenue as well. I want to say thank you to an amazing, outstanding Irish woman, Nora Casey. I have listened to and I have read nothing virtually over the last, I suppose, six or eight weeks except doom and gloom and depression. And as the mother of a 31-year-old who is over one year unemployed, I can tell you he feels that there is very little hope out there. And for any parent, I think, who has any member of their family unemployed, we have a duty and a responsibility to build hope, to create an atmosphere of inspiration and an atmosphere of positivity. And thank you, Irish Tatler, for creating that for all of us here tonight. It has been an uplifting night for me, full of positivity, at a time when we're being bombarded by negativity. So well done for giving us this opportunity to celebrate outstanding achievements by women. I'm proud to be here as the Commissioner for Innovation at the first awards ceremony that you've had where you've presented an award for innovation. I'm here both this weekend and I was here last weekend to promote the side of Ireland and indeed the side of Europe that hasn't gone away. Real people, real women, creating real jobs with new skills, new ideas that provide, and improve, provide for and improve people's lives. And I know that the current situation is hurting very many people. And I'm sure that there is even greater hurt to come. But I have to say that I have admiration for people who have had in the teeth of this kind of recession to come out and try and create that positivity in people's minds. And one of those is here tonight. We served together in the same parliamentary party for a number of years. She left us, unfortunately, <laughs> went off with a man called Desi O'Malley and went on to serve with immense distinction, not just for here in Ireland, but indeed abroad. And I'm very pleased and privileged to be in a room with Mary Harney, the Minister tonight. <laughs> Mind you, of course, she did one really sensible thing during all of those years, among you know, a number of things that she did. She married a Gagan. 
But you know, we, we are doing wonderful things in Europe and we can do it here. And I was at the IBM Smart Camp yesterday in the Convention Center. And there were nine companies, small, tiny startup companies from all over the world who had come together in this Smart Camp idea that was born in Dublin a year ago. And when they had all the uh, competition winners in all the different countries, including Silicon Valley, including right across Europe, including in Israel and farther afield. They brought them all to Dublin for the finals. And they presented their projects and what they wanted to do, what they wanted to achieve and their ambitions. And it really was an uplifting occasion. And we all said afterwards, those of us that were there, that there is a real economy out there that has not gone away. And let's all of us in this room at least take one message home. That real economy is going to be developed and will be developed by very many of those outstanding women who are here tonight. We can multitask. We can do a lot of things that our male colleagues can't always do. We do that because we have to work, I'm sorry, gentlemen, we have to work many, many, many times harder than men have to do to prove ourselves. I'm disappointed that over, I was 22 years in the Dáil, over that time we had small numbers, then we had larger numbers, then we had lower numbers again. I would like to see an awful lot more women getting involved. I think we need you, I think we need your ideas, we need your common sense above anything else. Um, anybody that can manage, any woman that can manage a budget at home can certainly manage the economy. <laughs> I also would have to say that I'm very proud to be in an organization now where at one third, 33% of the members are women, where all of them have portfolios that are significant for the future of Europe, and where we run a particular program in my area, which is for women in science. And tonight when I listened to some of the stories and what women are doing from an innovative point of view, I really feel that there is hope out there, and there is that real economy that all of us can develop together. It's a privilege and a pleasure to have been here. It's a huge honor to have been awarded um, Woman of the Year. I'm not sure that I deserve it. In fact, I probably don't deserve it. But if I think back to that little girl with the bonnet and the sweets, and you can see I still love the sweets. <laughs> um, and as she grew up in a very small outpost 50 miles as it was in those days west of Galway City. I don't think I ever dreamed in my wildest dreams that I would end up where I am today. I only hope that over the 22 years here and over the next four years that I will have an opportunity to repay all of the goodwill that I was shown during my career. And I was, as Nora and Alan said, controversial. I think that's a good thing. It would be called in today's world disruptive innovation. <laughs> but I think Mary Harney will agree we needed that in Fianna Fáil every now and again. And I don't regret any of it. I think we achieved a lot, but I think we needed that bit of disruptive innovation. So it's a privilege and a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Nora. And on behalf of everybody here, can I say, we all need to look at Dragon's Den. There's a new dragon in town. <laughs> And I think she will be a tremendously positive and uplifting influence in the Dragon's Den. And we look forward to watching her and supporting her and uh, watching her achieve great things for young innovators who come to present their projects. So, Rinoishle, Tame Buyach, Tame Brodul, Agasboala Moicha Salaka, Liberfat, Grumagin.